In this video, we're going to review Hive Portfolio View and create one. So Portfolio View is an all-in-one place to view the detail of Project Navigator combined with the flexibility of a table view. And the first thing we need to do is turn it on. So let's click up to our Hive apps on the left-hand nav here. And Portfolio View lives on the top tile. And let's click the blue, the blue pin. Because this will allow it to be pinned to our left-hand navigation for future use. And I'm going to go ahead now and open up my Portfolio View. And what we'll see here is a series of headings. Um, for which we can customize and create to give us the view that we need. Now, let's look at these menus. Within the Add Projects drop down here, we can select the projects that we'd like to see. Project Details and Fields will allow us to pull the important fields and details of our projects from our navigator and our homepage. And finally, Actions and Subactions allows you to pull in the status of these actions and subactions that are living across the projects listed on the left. The due date for those actions will appear and a check mark will show if they have been completed. Within the Subactions and Actions drop down, you can also decide if you want to see specific milestones if you're using them through your project setup. So let's take a look and create one. Now I'm going to come and select my projects. Okay, and apply and you'll see those projects appear down here and immediately we have the project due date because it's been set for these campaigns and also we have a percentage complete which is particularly useful now this shows you of all of the action cards in your uh, project how many of them at this time are complete or in the status complete okay so let's go to project details and fields and I'm going to turn some of these off just now to give us a bit of space so I'm going to pop off description and a few others. Okay, and this just gives us a smaller view for the purposes of looking at our actions and sub actions. And then finally, we're going to click and create some actions and sub actions. Now I have a milestone in the in these campaigns, so I'm going to select both of those. And I'm also going to search for and select some further items. So I want to select boil the kettle. Okay, so now I've selected my actions, you see that my portfolio is starting to build. Now where the milestones are pulled into this view, you'll see that they are marked with a small flag, just like in your action card. And in this case, this one is complete. These actions are showing complete and where there's an NA, it just means that that particular action or sub action does not feature in that project. The red dates here show where something is overdue. So I'm going to quickly come and click into this one for December the 10th and I can see the details on the action card. I can send an at comment to the assignee and check in on that work very quickly, all from this view without having to leave and go into the project. Now, finally, we can give our, our portfolio view a name. And we can create multiple views so we can add a new portfolio view when we're ready. Up here on the right hand side, we have the option to share. So I can share that with specific people in my team. And also we have the export function where you can take all of the content in this portfolio view and export it to CSV. And that is how we create a portfolio view in Hive.